Hey everyone, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a second to ask you if you would please subscribe. We're literally getting like a hundred in what, two weeks? And then directly after that, we got 200 after about a week and a half. And now we're at 300, like eight days later or something. Uh, I don't know, just if you would subscribe, that would be nice. Because it's like 93% that aren't subscribed that watch my videos or something like that. I don't know. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, sorry for lack of uploads lately. School is killing me. The AK-103 is a Russian assault rifle that does 120 headshot damage, 75 torso damage, 50 arm and leg damage, has 600 RPM, and does 750 DPS. It has high muzzle velocity, so-so range, garbage recoil, and OK mobility. Hearing OK mobility and garbage recoil sounds like it's not a good gun, but if you slap a vertical grip onto it, it's perfectly fine. It basically compensates for the lack of mobility. My setup for this gun is a vertical grip, 50 times mag, no sight, extended barrel, because the extended barrel on this weapon doesn't affect any of the damage, and a regular laser. In the recording, I use the stock AK-103 because I once again want to give you the default experience. If you ask me, the fire rate and damage makes up for the recoil. A vertical grip eliminates almost all of the recoil, a stubby grip eliminates a portion of it, and the angled grip eliminates most of the recoil. The vertical grip reduces it to around 35 by the looks of it, I don't know, 40, something around that range. The weapon is highly efficient on maps like Tokyo for PvP, where you can one-tap players in the head and two-tap in the torso if they're camping in one position. Now keep in mind, in Blackhawk, 1425 studs is a very, very large ratio, and 1850 muzzle velocity means it has little to no drop. It's pretty incredible. In the open world footage being displayed on the screen at the moment, you can see that it clearly is effective against desert and mountain base. Against players, if you have good aim and you're able to take out the recoil, it's highly effective. If you put on a sight like the MRO that has such a small dot in the middle, headshots are even easier to hit. Here's an example. The gun is even more powerful in PvP than it is in open world, and that's saying something, because it can almost four-shot, headshot, rocketeers, or rocket guys, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. And it's an assault rifle. Now, if you're up close, that's incredibly broken. Uh, those who use assault rifles will know this. If anyone were to ask me if this gun was good, I'd definitely say yes. And if anyone was to ask me if this gun was bad, I'd say no and start yelling at them. Uh, that's about it for today's video, guys. Sorry, it was kind of short. Uh, but that's the AK-103. If you're good at PvP and you want to get even better, I highly recommend purchasing it. It's incredibly broken. Uh, and until the next video, I will see you guys. Peace out.